hello everyone welcome to a new video of my channel and in this video we are going to see how we can implement android fingerprint authentication for our android apps so let's see how we can do that at first we need to add a dependency uh, of the android x biometric so here is that dependency for the android biometric authentication so i'll give the link of this dependency in the description from there you can just copy this and you can always get the updated uh, or the current stable release number here you can use that and in the time of recording this video it is 1.1.0 so i'm just copying this and i'll go back to my android studio and open the app level gradle file and here under these dependencies i'll paste it and click on sync now all right so once it's done we can uh, go back to our main activity and here at first let's go to the activity main.xml and here let's do some changes for the ui i'll just uh, change this text view to a button and i'll change the text of this button to let's say verify and i'll give this button an id i'll call this btn okay so that is enough for the ui so i just want to do is uh, when the user will click on the verify button it will prompt the fingerprint authentication and it will verify the fingerprint of the user okay so now let's go back to the main activity.java here and here let's actually create a new activity first so here i'm creating a new activity then we have to select empty activity i'll name this secret activity because this activity will load only the uh, only when the fingerprint is verified so i click on finish and here we don't need to change anything inside the java file we'll just change the ui and here i'll change the constraint layout into a relative layout inside this i'll add a text view where i'll set the width and height to wrap content i'll give this text view an id oops we don't need an id i'll just set a text here um the text of this text view will be uh, this is the secret activity all right and let's put this into the center of the screen so center in parent true let's also increase the text size here i'll change it to 28 sp i think that's uh, good for the ui okay that's enough now let's go to the main activity.java here so inside here uh, let's actually define a callback method for our uh, biometric prompt private biometric prompt and here we need to select the android x dot biometric we won't select the android dot hardware dot biometrics because the android dot hardware dot biometrics this only supports on the android 10 version and if i if we use the android x biometric library it will support from the android api 23 or it will support from the android version marshmallow and above okay so we are going to use the android x dot biometric here and then i'll name this method get prompt okay and inside this method body uh, for the biometric prompt we need actually three parameters the first one is the context then we need a executor then finally we have to create or pass a callback so let's uh, actually define the executor first so i'll create a new executor here i'll call this executor equals context compat dot get main executor and here you need to pass the context which is this okay so we have our executor here and now let's create the callback for our biometric prompt so i'll add biometric prompt dot authentication callback and i'll call this callback equals new 
biometric prompt dot authentication callback and here we need to select these three methods which is the authentication error authentication succeed and authentication failed so i'll select three of them and click on ok so here we have these three methods here so now we will show some messages so to show the toast messages let's actually create another method uh, outside of this uh, get prompt method i'll create another method i'll call this private void notify user i'll pass a string here as message sorry message and inside the notification body i'll just create a toast message where i'll pass the message that we are passing in the parameter okay so now let's go up here in the on authentication error so if there is an error then we will show user a toast message i'll call the notify user method and here i'll just pass the error string here so i'll pass the error string dot to string okay and when the authentication is succeed we will uh, launch the secret activity here so before that let's also create a toast message here i'll pass a string that will say authentication succeeded okay and then let's call the secret activity here intent alt enter to solve intent intent equals new intent main activity dot this and then we need to pass the secret activity dot class okay and then i will call the start activity and i'll pass the intent here okay so when the authentication is succeeded it will uh, show the authentication succeed toast message and will launch the secret activity now for the on authentication field we will just show a toast message saying authentication failed so i'll again call the notify user and here i'll pass a string called authentication failed okay uh, so these are for the uh, these three methods and now outside of uh, here i'll just put a semicolon and outside of the callback we need to create our uh, biometric prompt here so i'll just create a biometric prompt i'll call this uh, biometric prompt and remember to select the android x biometric okay so biometric prompt biometric prompt equals new biometric prompt and here for the first parameter we have to pass the context which is this and then we need to pass the executor which we have created so i'll pass the executor and thirdly we need to pass the callback which we have also created so here i pass three of the parameters and then we need to just return this uh, biometric prompt so return biometric prompt okay so this is the method to get the biometric prompt now inside the on create method let's define our button and create a on click listener for the button so button btn equals find view by id r dot id dot btn okay let's create on click listener so button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and inside here we will show the prompt dialog for verifying the fingerprint for this i'll create a prompt info so biometric prompt the android x dot biometric so biometric prompt dot uh, prompt info and i'll call this uh, prompt info equals new biometric prompt dot prompt info and here i'll cut the brackets here and i'll write dot builder 
and after that we need to set the title subtitle description etc for this so i'll go to a new line here dot set title and now for title of this uh, prompt window i'll pass uh, please verify okay and then we can also set a description here so for the description i'll write user authentication is required to proceed okay you can also set subtitle for this and next i'll just create a negative button text so set negative button text which is a must and here i'll pass cancel and lastly i'll just build our prompt okay okay so our prompt info is now ready now we can just call the authenticate method so for this i'll get the biometric prompt from the get prompt method here so i'll call the get prompt which will return us a biometric prompt and then i'll pass uh, dot authenticate and insert the authenticates parameter i'll pass this prompt info prompt info okay so that was our code for the uh, fingerprint authentication now let's run this on a device and see how it goes so here as you can see our app is now installed and here we have the button to verify the fingerprint so if i click on this button it will prompt the fingerprint verification dialog which says please verify as our title and the user authentication is required to proceed as our description so here if i click a or touch with a wrong finger then it will say not recognized and it will give a message called authentication failed which you defined and now let's click with a uh, correct finger so it will take you to the secret activity okay now let's go back and try again okay so that's how we can simply implement a fingerprint authentication in our android application thank you so much for watching